Welcome to DeFi Crypto today. Our topic today is Sol Invictus on the Solana ecosystem. Okay, this is not exactly a fork of Olympus DAO. It's uh, an adaptation of Olympus DAO for Solana. The distinction is uh, small, but important in also. Basically, there's the Ethereum uh, virtual machine, which works on Ethereum uh, and, 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 and similarly on Binance, on Avalanche, on Phantom and uh, Polygon and so on. Okay, so all those protocols, uh, all those chains, sorry, use um, the, uh, the Solidity code to run the contracts on the protocols, okay? With minor adaptation between the, the chains, okay? But essentially they all code in Solidity. Now, so, uh, Solana does not use Solidity. It's a completely different system. They use Rust. And I believe Terra also uses uh, Rust. And uh, that's why it's more difficult to port uh, Olympus, uh, the, the Olympus code on Solana or Terra for that matter. Because they don't use the EVM, they don't use Solidity. They have their own language and on Solana it's Rust. So uh, the people at uh, Invictus decided to port, so it's not a fork, it's a port, that would be the, the correct word I think. Of uh, they decided to port um, the Olympus DAO code on Solana, so they had to rewrite quite a bit of stuff. So it's a lot more work than just uh, moving it from uh, uh, Ethereum to uh, Avalanche or Phantom or whatever. Okay, and uh, that, that, that's why if you look in their um, Discord here. It says, uh, like some guy was doing an analysis of various uh, forks on various networks, and they said that uh, Invictus was a, an own fork, and then they say, even though we're function, uh, functionally like own, but we're not a fork. They're not a fork, they're, they're, they're more like a port. Okay, they had to rewrite a lot of code to port it to Solana. But essentially, they're using the same formula, more or less. There are some differences and we'll uh, have a look at that. Now this is their Discord, uh, there are quite a few people in there. It's not the, the most um, elegant one, but it's okay, it's uh, acceptable, I guess. Um, what I really don't like though is on the website there's, it's, there's no documentation. You can look here, there are no docs button or anything like that. There's no link to any kind of documentation that I can find. Uh, they only have two essentially two pages. There, This is the, the bond page. You can bond here if you want to bond. Okay, and they don't have a zap feature, so you have to create your own LP pair on um, another uh, website, I believe it's Radium. So you have to go on Radium and make your LP, or you can just put USDC or USDT, which would be a lot easier if it's profitable for you to do so. So that's for the bonds and the staking also does not have a ton of information. <laughs> so right now we have the APY, be careful, this is not 15 million, it's 15,433,000.508% percent oh, no, just change. Okay, and the total value deposited is pretty high at 179 uh, million. And if we look at the treasury, I believe we have the treasury somewhere. Where was this? Yeah, the treasury balance 51 million. So that's that's acceptable in in my personal opinion. It's not a, uh, a very small protocol. However, I really, really hate that there's no documentation on this thing. You have to dig a lot. Like, for instance, they have a Medium page, but they don't even bother putting the Medium page there. You have to look it up, okay, 
and they explain uh, important stuff on their uh, medium page okay if you look at the top so Invictus so that's their medium page and they have these really weird looking pictures on their <laughs> medium page <laughs> Uh, but and and they have like I don't know it's very poetic and their their, their stuff uh, it's it's interesting. Anyway, they do explain um, the rebasing, but they added something new which is very interesting. Uh, if I can find it again, okay. Where is it? Ugh, I missed it. Anyway. Um, maybe I'll find it here. They have, uh, that's their Twitter. They have uh, 13,000 uh, followers, which is pretty good. And if we go down a bit, all right. You see this picture? This is uh, basically if you stake your in tokens, okay, you're going to see that you get a uh, Autumn, um, continuous rebasing. It doesn't wait every eight hours. It adds every second. As you can see here, that number changes all the time. That's what you would see here on the stake page over here. If you stake anything here, you're going to see that the value of uh, your stake balance will continuously grow like this. You can see the numbers change. It's a cool feature. Uh, so it means that uh, you're not waiting eight hours to get your stake. You get your stake continuously 24-7. Uh, so I guess it's compounding faster in that way. Uh, I, that I would assume so. Because if you're uh, compounding every second, it's better than every eight hours, I suppose. And uh, well, that's it. I mean, there's not a lot we can talk about, unfortunately. That that's the main feature, okay, and the main advancement, and that it's on Solana. I'm really disappointed in the paucity of information here. Okay, uh, they already assume that you know what you're doing. Okay, that you know what bonding is about and, and all that and that jazz. I mean, and they also assume that you're smart enough to find where their uh, medium page is. Okay, so, and if I believe it's at the top of this thing. Yeah, you have to go to the top of their, their Twitter page and find the medium page here. Okay, so I have mixed feelings about it. It looks uh, like they spent quite a bit of time to program this because it's a port and not a fork, okay? So it's probably uh, not going to rug pull on you because it's too much effort, <laughs> okay? It seems to be reasonably successful right now because there's over a hundred million dollars uh, that were deposited there and the treasury is over 50 million. The interest rate is not that spectacular. It's 15,000%, which everywhere else in the universe would be fantastic. But because it's an ohm fork, we, we're used to uh, seeing much higher numbers. But it, it, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. They talk about their runway. I don't I remember seeing the runway. See, not a lot of information here. There's no runway. No information about runways. So I don't know how long they can maintain this uh, APY here. That bothers me a lot. Now, what's nice is that here they have a big treasury, so it should be long enough. It should be at least, I don't know, 200 days or something. I don't know. Uh, but that's information I'd like to see. Okay. Uh, maybe the, the, the people at Invictus are really great programmers, but first of all, we still don't know if this is audited. I'm betting not. Okay, so think about this. They had to rewrite the code, okay, completely for Solana. They had to adapt a lot of things. So they had to change multiple lines, not just uh, changing uh, Ethereum for Phantom and changing the name of the token. Okay, they had to do a lot more work. So they might have introduced bugs. Um, let's check, I haven't checked yet. 
audit. Anybody made an audit in there? See here they say, I understand the source code has not been audited. See here, some people here worries about that. The dev is dead, no audit. <laughs> okay, so, um, see, it, a lot of people don't seem to be very happy yesterday about this, okay? So anyway, apparently this guy wants to um, have his team perform the audit himself, I guess. I don't know. See, uh, that, that's exactly what I'm complaining about. Never been an audit, no white paper. Uh, okay, this is the, uh, the guy responsible. He says, we are releasing docs. So documentation is forthcoming, apparently. Um, and they have lots of Medium articles, they say. But they, uh, apparently they don't want to do an audit, which worries me because they had to change a lot of code. Uh, anyway, you decide what you want to do, but personally, I think it's very risky. Very risky because it's more than a plain old fork. An old, a fork, you more or less copy and paste the code and make tiny changes because you're still in... Uh, essentially in the uh, solidity uh, environment despite the fact that you're moving from ethereum to phantom or avalanche okay and also you could, if you're on av avalanche you can just copy wonderland's code it's already there and it's working right you don't have to do a lot there you just have to basically change the color of the, the template and change the name of the token and you're practically done right but here you have to do a lot more work but this guy here who i believe is uh, the dev or the guy responsible for the project he says there are no uh, audits and no white papers but documentation is coming and they have a lot of medium articles that's all he's giving us uh i don't know i don't feel very 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 secure if i were to invest in this I would put a small amount, despite the fact that there are uh, $51 million in the treasury. I don't know for how long they can uh, maintain their APY. There's a lot of unknowns, and that worries me. Uh, okay, it's not, I don't consider this safe at all. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm very glad that they managed to port uh, OM to Solana. That's a lot of work. And, uh, you know, I congratulate them on uh, ma man managing to achieve this, but they should be more open. They should aud have their code audited to give people assur uh, assurances that their money is safe. Okay. We don't know what, what they put in their code. Okay. Is there a back door in there where they can take the money out? Uh, is there like anything? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and download the free book. To download the free book, you put in your name, your email address, you hit the submit button, and there's a big link that says download the free book. The link to uh, all this stuff is in the description, okay? If you don't want a free book, you can go on Amazon, give $5.99 to Jeff Bezos, and Jeff will send me a dollar later. See you.